Hello folks, my name is Marvel Master and I welcome you to uh, Unreal Engine 4 tutorial number 3.5 about uh, the new cloth tool in Unreal Engine 4.16. So in this video I will explain you um, the settings you can uh, adjust the cloth with. So right again in Unreal Engine 4.16 I will begin explain the settings with a flag we've created in the tutorial before. So I will go right into the brushed flag and um, I want to explain what the paint value means. So the paint value um, means the distance that uh, the single vertices can move. So let's say I paint a value just of 50, then every vertice is possible to move a distance of 50. So let's paint it like that and see what the result is. Okay, you, here you have it. For the first vertices uh, of this mesh, uh, a value of 50 might be okay, but uh, the last vertices of the mesh uh, don't have enough uh, movement freedom to uh, reach the ground. So I always choose a value of 1000 to make sure that the all vertices of this mesh can move as far as possible. Now when I enable paint towards or disable paint towards you can see the flag is behaving like I wanted. Okay, for the next uh, settings of the cloth tool I will go into the Skeletal mesh of uh, the character from uh, tutorial number three. Here in the asset details, you can uh, choose special clothing properties. For better, better visualization uh, of what the single properties are doing, you can add uh, an animation to your character. Let's say I'm using this watch swing animation for this now. As you can see, um, the cloth simulation is far from perfect because there's a lot of clipping and um, it doesn't react uh, as I wanted. So for fixing the clipping, for example, the best thing to do is to adjust the coll collision thickness. This basically uh, defines the distance from the collusion spheres to the actual cloth set. So let's say we set it to 5 and see what will change. Okay, here you can see result now for the back, the butt and uh, the legs is nearly perfect. And now we can uh, go on with uh, some other settings. Um, tether stiffness and tether um, limit, I've uh, tried fiddling around with them but didn't see any differences. So if you like, you can do it when you have time. Something uh, necessary is the gravity scale. It uh, defines the, the weight of the cloth. Let's say we define a gravity scale of 10. That will multiply the weight of the cloth by 10. And the result will be that it's uh, hanging more and the movement isn't that much. You could use this if you got an asset of let's say a uh, metal cloth or something. But for now I'm going I think with uh, a scale of 2. Then um, stiffness frequency I fiddle around with 2 but also didn't notice uh, many differences, but the sober frequency is uh, relatively um, necessary because this defines the stretchiness of the cloth set. So let's say I make it 100 and you can see it stretches uh, really far. This is because I cho chose a paint value of 1000 for this set, the cloth paint, and um, the higher you set it, the more stiff it becomes. Oh. 
but if you go too high the frame rate will suffer really hard from it so better keep it I would say like 1000 or 500 or something I guess 1000 is a way you can go with in my case so now there are similar values with linear and angular drag and um, um, and uh, wind wind drag you can uh, play around with this, this values too but uh, I won't go into detail too much uh, of this because um, um, I can't really tell what all these way will change in the set. One thing uh, maybe uh, necessarily might be the friction. This uh, defines the friction of the uh, collusion spheres you set in your physics set. Let's say I bump it up to 10. And then the cloth will um, stick, stick more to the, to the leg. As you can see here, the cloth is sticking more to the leg, um, resulting in a somehow more realistic behavior of the cloth. So now uh, another necessary um, setting is the dumping. This values have to be treated carefully because little changes uh, do big differences. So let's say we have a dumping of 0.4, but now change all to 1. And as you can see, it defines uh, the uh, movement frequency of the cloth. Uh, high dumping means low movement, low dumping means uh, high movement. If you set a way of 0.1, it goes a little too crazy, it has really much movement. So I would say a setting of 0.5 might be good for us, for us now here. And uh, you can use dumping to uh, simulate uh, the weight of uh, cloth set to let's say 0.6. Looks okay too. But I think I will with the settings vanilla for this now. Okay, looks good to me. So um, another setting to take care of is the self collision. Um, you have to be really, really careful with the setting because changing any values um, will drastically increase the frame rate cost because um, the collision between the single vertices of the Cloth uh, are be calculated, calculated. So I better turn this off now because the result is uh, good enough uh, in my opinion. Okay, um, the other settings here: compression limit, stretch constraint, bend constraint, and so on. And you can fiddle around with, but I didn't uh, see many difference in it or too much difference in it um, I guess um, this uh, what I showed you now uh, gave a little overview about it, the settings you can tweak and we when I go uh, now into my character again you can see that the behavior of the cloth is of course much more realistic Okay, I'm happy with that, and I would say this is it for this video. If you like this video, uh, consider subscribing or give it a like. And if you got any questions so far, uh, write it down below in the comments. And I would say see you next time.